The story begins with a virtual window displaying the message. Are you tired of your boring life? Do you really wish for a new life? In the next scene, a guy is shown sitting on a chair and browsing the computer, remarking, even novels won't say such a thing. This guy's name is Lin Xu, a 21st century unemployed nerd who is searching for a job online. Lin Xu is suddenly startled when a space portal appears in front of his computer screen, teleporting him into a futuristic world. The virtual window reappears and displays the message, congrats to owner for making the correct choice, the future journey, super god system, sincerely decided to serve you in the next scene. An academy is shown with the name Starshine Academy. Set in the Earth year 2696, the present-day Starshine Academy exists in the aftermath of a catastrophic event. During the year 2666, monsters invaded Earth, causing immense destruction. In response, humanity deployed nuclear weapons to eradicate the monsters. However, this action inadvertently led to the release of the X-Virus, which rapidly spread across the globe. As a result, Earth underwent mutations, giving rise to zombies and additional monsters. In this new world, survivors embarked on the path of martial cultivation, and Earth's martial artists emerged as the new leaders. They became known as the Lords of Earth. The next scene shows Lin Xu, still groggy and recovering from the recent events, when suddenly a guy barges in and loudly screams Lin Xu's name. As Lin Xu doesn't respond, the guy becomes angry and grabs Lin Xu by the collar, shouting, didn't I tell you to bring the food? What's taking you so long? Do you want me to die of hunger? He throws Lin Xu against the wall insults him, and calls him trash with no talent for cultivation, even stepping on him. Feeling hurt, Lin Xu wakes up and suddenly feels clear-headed. While standing up, Lin Xu recalls how he ended up in this situation and remembers how everyone kept bullying him, insulting him, and beating him repeatedly, calling him garbage and saying he's not a martial artist, questioning why he even bothers living. Lin Xu understands why the previous person didn't want to live anymore and thinks, in this idiotic world, no wonder he didn't want to live anymore. Now, he left this situation to me, and it won't be easy. There's nothing in my dictionary that says bear with it. Lin Xu's anger intensifies as he stares at the bully, which further enrages him and leads him to punch Lin Xu in the stomach. However, Lin Xu continues to stare at the bully, provoking him further, and the bully kicks him in the stomach, demanding obedience. Despite the beating, Lin Xu refuses to obey someone he considers trash and thinks, even if you beat me to death, I won't obey you. While contemplating, a notification sound rings, and a virtual window appears in front of Lin Xu indicating that the host's accumulated anger has reached 100% and displaying his stats. The virtual window shows Lin Xu as level 1 with 0 experience, strength at 35, physique at 35, agility at 32, and the skill analyze I, with an overall combat ability of 250. The window asks if he wishes to use an all-out attack. Lin Xu finds it strange to see the virtual window and thinks, this system brought me here, to this situation. Suddenly, the bully approaches Lin Xu, attacking him with a fist while Lin Xu loudly responds, yes, use an all-out attack. They clash, and the bully feels overwhelmed by the power in Lin Xu's fist, sensing his bones being crushed. The clash sends the bully crashing into the wall, knocking him unconscious. As the bully mumbles about the academy infirmary, Lin Xu stands still, giving him a dangerous gaze, and says, f hash ck off. Two guys who accompanied the bully become frightened and hastily carry the unconscious bully away. Lin Xu, feeling weak, supports himself against the wall, thinking, luckily, they left. If not, they would have known I'm injured. Reflecting on the all-out attack, Lin Xu acknowledges its negative effects. While walking unsteadily towards the chair and sitting on it, Lin Xu called the system. The virtual window showed up with a ding and displayed the message. Detected host's first time using an all-out attack and defeating an opponent, obtains one lottery chance draw. Lin Xu felt strange and unconsciously clicked on the option, which revealed a spinning wheel with numerous draw options and a start button. Lin Xu clicked the button while saying, Oh, give me union coins. Otherwise, with my savings, I don't even have enough money to cure my injuries. The wheel started spinning and stopped at 10,000 union coins. Upon seeing the wheel stop at 10,000 union coins, Lin Xu exclaimed, Great! While feeling exhausted. In the next moment, the infirmary door opened, and Lin Zins walked in, saying, Hello there, I'm here to get cured. Inside the infirmary room, a lady wearing a doctor's uniform and glasses appeared. She said, Oh, so it's student little Lin. Lin Xu wondered and asked, Do you know me? The lady replied, Starshine Academy's weakest student, Little Lin. Who wouldn't know? While suddenly getting close to him, Lin Xu felt somewhat flustered and said, Please don't call me Little Lin. I'm not that small. Call me Lin Xu. The lady responded, Small or not, we will know later. Go and take off your clothes and lie down on the cabin, while bending herself. Feeling her gaze, Lin Xu felt embarrassed, backed off, and clutched his pants, saying, What? I still need to take off my clothes? The lady replied, He he, don't worry. I'm just joking. I will still let you wear your underpants. But if you want to take it all off, sister won't mind at all, 
While touching her lips, Lin Xu felt confused but proceeded to take off his clothes. Upon seeing his bare body, the lady commented, Oh, not bad. Lin Xu felt scared and thought to himself, This girl sure is scary. If I can't control myself, I might lose my virginity here. While Lin Xu was wondering, he heard the lady asking him, Which price cure do you need? I need 9,800 union coins, while lying in the cabin, Lin Xu thought to himself, the previous owner's body is weaker than I thought. He must have been bullied very often and endured group beatings. But from now on, I won't let anyone bully me. As he pondered, a sound rang outside the cabin, reminding him, preparations complete. Whole body injuries results, estimated around 5 hours to fully recover. Starting the cure. After 5 hours had passed and the cure was completed, Lin Xu thought to himself, from now on, I'll be the new Lin Xu while keeping his eyes shut. And this is how the first part of this manhua ends. Well, guys, if you like this video and want a part 2, comment below with the word nerd. Also, this is my first video. In the future, I'll be bringing more and more exciting videos. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, hit the like button, and stay tuned until the next video.